Hey friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tanya and today we are celebrating Erica's birthday. <laughs> um, Erica is a really dear friend of mine and she's literal sunshine in human form. So to celebrate her, I thought I'd make some gel printed rainbow cards. So the theme is birthday, so I'm going to turn the gel prints into cards. But first of all, I'll show you how I actually made the backgrounds. So as you saw, I've got some acrylic paint here. These are by Liquitex. I absolutely love using them for gel printing. And I've put them down and I'm using a wide roller to blend the three colors together. So where the colors blend together, they make a secondary color. So it gives a kind of rainbow effect. And I've put a stencil down and I've put my piece of cardstock down, which is cut down to four by five point. Uh, five and a quarter inches which is going to fit on an A2 card and I'm really carefully making sure that I'm pressing the card on through the stencil and there is your instant rainbow background. Really quick and easy to do and then while that paint is still wet on the gel plate I'm using a Jelly Arts 5 by 7 gel plate I'm pulling another print and that is going to give me my second print. And literally within less than five minutes, I have two beautiful backgrounds ready to go. So I'm really making sure that I'm pressing on the paper really well, giving the paint a chance to grip onto the paper and then pulling a print. When you rub your paper and you lift your paper off, it, that process is called pulling a print. So secondly, what I'm doing with my uh, second design, uh, I'm using stencils by Jelly Arts as well. These are their latest designs. And I've got a script stencil down. Now, the important thing to note with script or any kind of text is you have to put them on backwards. So I've put them face down uh, onto the gel plate and then it will print the right way up, if that kind of makes sense. It'll show up when I pull the paper off. So I'm using thick cardstock here and there is that really gorgeous, again, rainbow background with the uh, script stencil. And then while the stencil is still on there, I'm just making sure that I have lifted all of the paint so that I can get a nice and crisp image. A few moments later. And then I am just letting that dry completely for a few minutes and I'm going to pull a ghost print. So that means that I've let the paint dry, the first layer dry, and then I'm putting on another really thin layer of paint. This is a pearlescent white by Arteza. And then I'm pulling off all that deliciousness off the gel plate. This is a really great way of uh, pulling off prints that uh, paints that have dried for too long on your gel plate or doing with really fine uh, images like this stencil because I thought it would be too dry if I pulled it straight away. So this is a good way to do it. This is called ghost printing. So, and there you have it. Uh, I'll just put in a little bit of a closer image and you can see what that pearlescent shine looks like. I really loved how these turned out. So, I mean, the possibilities are endless. You could just sit there for hours and hours and just keep pulling print after print after print. And you'll notice that I am not cleaning my gel plate in between my prints. And what this does is, uh, this is entirely optional. If you want uh, your colors to be nice and crisp, then you can clean your gel plate in between each print. But I like to have that grunge that you get when you pull paint off that is from the previous prints onto the new prints. It's the wet paint that is pulling, is working like almost like a glue and pulling that paint off onto the paper. So I have just, uh, this is the abstract flower stencil and I am just pulled the first print through the stencil. Then I lifted the stencil away and then I am uh, just pulling the second print as well. So I'm just using one color here and I mixed it a little bit with the pearlescent. So pearlescent paint uh, for me is a no brainer to have in your stash because then you can mix it up with other paints that you have to kind of give them a slight shimmer uh, and you can change up the looks of your uh, paints that way. 
and plus pearlescence paints look amazing on a darker background so i am just layering my stencils now so on top of that uh, abstract flower print i am taking the dots stencil and i am layering it on top of that first uh, print that i did and then this way you can keep building up layers i like to have lots of white space in my gel prints because i kind of like that in between look of grunge and having that negative space as well allowing the colors to really shine allowing the designs to really shine and i think this style kind of lends itself really well to card making as well so you can see with uh, that print i just within i think i just filmed all of these in 20 minutes i was able to pull uh, about six seven prints to put together in cards now i've got the alt new stamp wheel here and i am going to stamp my sentiments directly onto them uh you could die cut your sentiments uh but i am uh just showing you how you can quickly and easily make cards in just one sitting i am all about how you can make uh crafting your creative time as quick easy and efficient as possible because these days, I know with everyone, we're all in a hurry. We're being pulled in so many different directions and we just don't have time. So I am all about being really efficient with your time. So with gel printing, you've got multiple uh, multiple backgrounds that you can use for cards. You can do larger pieces of paper, which you can then chop down into size. You can uh, die cut them as well. And then while you have your supplies out, just quickly do your stamping then in there. Just pull out some sentiments that uh, that you're in the mood for, that you need. And just stamp them out while you have all your supplies. This is a lot more time effective. And uh, while you already have the mess, why not make the most of it while you have your supplies out? So I quickly assembled these six cards. They were really quick and easy to put together. And I hope that you give this technique a go. If you would like to win some prizes, leave a comment, check out the blog hop order. It's all in the description box. And thank you so much. And happy birthday, Erica. I love you.